Okay guys, so I just wanted to th throw out there a, a little video overview. I know I've done this uh, in class in Zoom while, while, we were, while we've been on several times now, but maybe a good idea for me to put one on a video so that anyone who maybe missed it can hear kind of what, what kind of ideas to uh, should be incorporated into the final project. <laughs> so um, I, since the midterm we've covered uh, divs, the CSS that is used to position um, HTML elements on a page, and that was in our in our projects that we worked on our lab. That uh, there were those were divs that had an ID, and we we moved those I those divs to the right of the screen. Right, it's what we did, but you could do whatever you want to do, I guess, with that. But that's what we've done. And then most recently we created a form uh, with elements, input elements on the form, and a JavaScript page with the code in it that could access that HTML form. So we've primarily got divs, um, CSS positioning, forms and JavaScript. These will be the big things to to work with. Now don't forget that your HTML page should look should have the, the proper format, right? <laughs> the layout, um, all the correct parts in it, right? Should have like we all know it should have HTML and inside of that should be a head and a body and then your divs will be in the body um, and in the the head you would incorporate your CSS page and you would incorporate your div, I'm sorry, your, um, not div, but JavaScript page. So those two things, the CSS and JavaScript, should be incorporated into your HTML in the head of the HTML page. All right? So then we always have, effectively, we always have those three kinds of pages whenever we're building a website. <clears throat> there will be an HTML, which describes the structure, CSS, would describe the style and positioning of the elements on that structure and the JavaScript interacts with the elements on that structure, that HTML structure. So those are the three parts uh, of, of every web page and they're all created like that. So you've, by the end of the semester here now you've seen every one of the three parts. Now there's other things that can be done with websites as well but that is um, the number one biggest set of things that are all no there's no there's no avoiding HTML right let's just get that make that clear HTML and CSS is a horrible idea to try and avoid it and people some people do but it makes for really terrible web design and um, maintenance is, is incredibly difficult without it now would you need JavaScript or not well that would depend on whether or not you're gonna have for instance any calculations Calculations are something that we can't do in HTML, right? Or JavaScript or, or, uh, or CSS. Uh, so we would need JavaScript to, to do anything like that. Or if we want to interact with the server machine from the client machine, then we would need JavaScript for that too. We would need a programming. There are cases when we would need a programming language, many of them. And most websites that you interact with are using JavaScript. All right, so those three components, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, are pretty much ubiquitous, right? And we've covered all three of them. Now we could go a lot more in depth on JavaScript, that's for sure. Um, but at least we have a taste of it. We can see the the reason why it exists. <clears throat> so in this final project, we definitely want to show those three things: uh, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript. You create all three pages. I did in my, one of the videos. I created all three pages. Uh, right, and I was using Notepad++. Um, and then uh, I incorporated the CSS and JavaScript with links in the head. That was done in a video, in the head of the uh, HTML. And then uh, I start building out the HTML, right? And then I did some things with the CSS, and then I did some things with the JavaScript to interact with the HTML. But the CSS and the JavaScript are all interacting with the HTML, right? So you've got to have the HTML. 
without the HTML, there's no point in CSS and there's no point in the JavaScript, right? It's, it's, it's there for that HTML page, which is the structure of this whole thing. So you want to have those three parts. The, the .html file, the .css file, the .js file. Uh, within the .html file, you should use divs because that's what we learned in the, in the second half. And within the CSS, while it's perfectly fine and desirable for you to do some of the things that we worked on on the first half of the semester, whereas, for instance, uh, on my video, I think I changed the background colors of some things. I, I did. I, I changed the background of the body and I changed, so I had a rule for body and I had a rule for form, a CSS rule. So I changed the background of the form and the background of the body is what I did. You could throw some other things in there, right? In addition to the divs for your HTML, you could throw some other things in there, right? There's no reason to not put a header. I think I even put a header on mine. It, it's going to kind of make for an ugly page if you don't have other elements in there as well, right? Like if you're trying to write an essay and you don't use paragraphs. <laughs> you know it's going to say, uh, I want you to put this in paragraphs. That's that's kind of obvious. <laughs> it's it's a part of it. I want you to do periods at the end of your sentences. Well, really, <laughs> I would have never thought to do that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you, you should try to use some elements. But do you have to use a table, for instance? No. You can use a table if it if it uh, if it's appropriate for whatever uh, design you have, whatever your project's going to be, your final project. Um, I, I would guess that the final project that you're going to create might have some sort of uh, mercantile type feel about it, because the only thing we've really looked at with JavaScript is using it as, for instance, like a, like a calculator, right? So it can calculate the price of something. Um, so if you're going to do that, then you've got to have something for sale that you can calculate the price of. So w what you're going to sell is completely up to you. I, I don't care. And I don't care that it's even that. You know, you could come up with some other plan. Uh, you could just create a calculator <laughs> right, or something. I don't know. And so the person on their HTML page is clicking um, images, buttons, uh, that result that may be the image one, five, two, the image three lined up so it looks like a calculator. And when people click on those, then functions start to um, fire in your JS. I mean, I, I'm coming up with stuff here, right? But it's completely your design. And I don't want to go too far on, on describing precisely what it is I want to see, because when I do that, then I, I force you into a particular mold. Uh, of some sort on what your project should be, and I don't want to do that. Now that you might have felt that back when when we our first, our midterm, when I required a a table to be on uh, the page, well maybe on some pages the table was appropriate, but on other pages it was just forced, right? You kind of had to shoehorn it in there just because it was supposed to be there, not because it really wanted to be there. Right? You just needed to show that you could do it. Um, the same with an ordered list or an unordered list in the past. It's like we just forced it onto the page. Um, in this case, with the final project, there's some design that you're creating for some site, some mythical site of some sort, some made-up hypothetical site, and that site may want an unordered list or an ordered list or a table um, or not. Right? But it should have a form. <laughs> so we've got to force that in somehow. It should have a form, and it should be split into divs. Most all sites are organized through divs now uh, in modern uh, usage of HTML. So there should be divs, and there should be the CSS positioning those divs to some extent. It doesn't have to be super hardcore positioning going on of any sort, but just that you can do it and that you know that CSS is the appropriate tool to use to position those elements um, and that the div exists how it's used, right? To partition. It, it partitions things into divisions, which is how it got its name div. Um, so that's, I'm, I know that that's rather broad beast and, and, and I, again I want to keep it that way. I, I don't want to shoehorn you or, or pigeonhole you into any particular kind of project. You should be able to just try to have some fun with it. Do something that you think might be interesting.
um, you can sell Christmas trees. I don't, I don't care. And then you have some Christmas tree images on your picture. So it's like some, some little website that uh, some Christmas tree merchant <laughs> down the street, some private. Maybe you're going to do it. You're going to start selling Christmas trees. And this is your website for your little Christmas tree shop. Right, and so people might want to buy four trees, or there could be different types of trees. Right, I mean anything, anything you can come up with. Uh, it doesn't have to be super long; <laughs> none of it does. But just sh sh you really just want to show that you know how these things work, and and kind of why they're necessary. Right, we can't calculate things without JavaScript. We can't, shouldn't be styling things without CSS, and we have no structure to our, our main document without um, HTML. So we need those three things in every website that we develop. So you come up with a plan, something that you want to, I suppose, sell. Probably the easiest well is to sell something. Um, and then quick throw something together, showing that you know how to do that. It might be really quick for you. But I can tell you it won't be quick for someone who hasn't had this class because they wouldn't know the first thing to do, right? It's only quick for you if it is, because you get it, <laughs> you're, you're understanding. So that's what you're trying to prove to me. Um, it doesn't need to take four days. You just need to prove that you know how to, those three things work, how to incorporate those three parts, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. All right. So hopefully that's helpful. And if you have any questions, um, let's we'll talk in class. See ya. Good luck.